And all too often, we talk about these cases after the shooting has happened and about why didn't somebody come forward or who knew about it that could have shared that information. And these kids did exactly what they should do. The system worked and local police stopped a school shooting before it happened. The prosecutor says students who reported the threat probably saved lives. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock, everybody. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Dan Tilgan. The threat was discovered against Newburgh High School. A 17-year-old student is now facing charges. We found out he had a detailed plan. Our Amy Frazier is live outside the Yamhill County Courthouse where she just spoke with the district attorney. Amy? Investigators say that the teen planned to carry out the shooting on the last day of school, but then changed the date so there would be more students there. In your opinion, it was very credible. This could have happened. This could have happened. On March 3rd, concerned students at Newburgh High School alerted a counselor about a possible threat against the school. They may well have saved lives. The details are chilling. According to court documents, police discovered a journal at a 17-year-old boy's home indicating there would be a school shooting in 70 days. Investigators say the journal contained a crude handwritten but detailed map that included the plan to take out school resource officer Moreland first. The journal also contained where bombs were going to be placed in the school, gates being chain locked, and the plan to isolate people in a kill zone. Police also say there was a list of people. Obviously the the uh, PC affidavit and the press release indicated a list was kept. It had names on it. I'm not going to go into details about who they were or how many. According to court documents, the teen wrote he planned to personally kill at least 100 people. Investigators also say he attempted to get weapons, even trying to get into his mother's safe, where a firearm was found. Police say the teen also wrote that he had a growing obsession with shooting up my school. He's charged as a juvenile with attempted assault and attempted unlawful use of a weapon. And right now the teen is in custody at a juvenile detention facility. I asked the district attorney today if there could be more arrests in this case. He would only say that the case remains under investigation. Reporting live in McMinnville, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. Amy, thank you.